Welcome to an inside pop-up card set tutorial. I'm Shari Philomahala here at the Graphic 45 headquarters. Today I'm going to teach you how to take our Enchanted Forest collection and turn it into this magical card set. Get a load of these magical cards. In this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to create these three cards here and then I'll walk you through with your leftovers how you can create the other three for a total of six. In these cards, you're going to see we're going to use those gems in some fun, unique ways and then have this delightful pop up when you open it inside. Also going to be doing some fun little uh, fussy cutting to add that extra dimension and how to sh show you how to really use up those extra bits and pieces in our papers. All six of these gorgeous cards have been created for us by Nancy Weathington and you'll note Nancy's work by all the fun interactive details and how she uses up so many bits and pieces, really making these cards so delightful to work with. The volume five card kit is going to include our matte pearl gems. You get three different colors in there in three different sizes. The ornate metal key holes, you get five of these nice heavy duty metal key holes. The subscribers are going to get this I Believe in Fairies button, so cute, and a collector's item. You're going to get these great heavy duty 5x7 black card bases and envelopes, six of each of those. And then of course the 8x8 Enchanted Forest Papers. You're going to get three of each of these gorgeous rich designs full of great cut aparts and gorgeous elements. You're going to get the project sheet with step-by-step -step directions and a Ziploc Graphic 45 bag to store all your leftovers in. Now you can pick up those kits at your local G45 retailer or on our website at g45papers.com and create along with us. Of course, you can always just pick up the kits a la carte or become a subscriber, or you get the kits sent directly to you in the mail every month, and you can create along with me, along with receiving quite a few other perks, including a 10% discount, exclusive Graphic 45 buttons, and we're going to learn so many great techniques. We encourage you to grab your supplies, even if you're just creating with your goodies in your stash, and learn this fabulous tutorial with me. In this video, I'm going to give you step-by-step -step directions on how to create these cards, but if you would like to follow along with a project sheet, you can do that by picking up the kit or by going on over to our website, g45papers.com, up to the inspiration tab and down to project sheets where you'll find over 30 different great step-by-step -step project sheets. All of our cards are going to be using a nice heavy weight uh, 5 by 7 black card base. So if you're creating this from home, uh, you're going to need a 10 by 7 and just score that simply at the 5 inch spot. Card 1. The first thing we want to do is take our sumptuous floral and we're going to cut this to be 6 and 3 quarters by 4 and 3 quarters. And then using your favorite adhesives, we're going to adhere this down. I'm using a combination of glitter glue for this tutorial, as well as some a nice dry score tape adhesive. The nice thing about using that dry adhesive as my base, I used a little bit of liquid so I could slip it around if I needed to, but it's going to offer a really nice uh, heavy duty stable weight and then on the back side you're not going to see any puckering from the wet glue as well. For step two we're going to cut out two pieces of brilliant gems. These are going to be six inches by four inches. Add some foam adhesive to the back of your gems and this is just going to be centered on the front. And then we're going to adhere the other piece on the inside. With our leftover sumptuous floral, we've cut this piece to be six and three quarters by two and three quarters. Now we are going to simply just fold this in half, matching my corners and making sure I'm all flush. Once I have my placement that I like, you can just go ahead and take your own folder and find that center spot and work out from there. Now that we have that, we can go ahead and fold both of these inward 
like so, kind of creating a nice little heart. Now we can do the same. So now you should have a piece that has four rectangles and we're going to have uh, a valley, a mountain, and a valley. So I have it folded like this. So I've got my red on the inside and that's what's gonna be showing. And I'm gonna add my adhesive onto the floral sides on the top and bottom of this piece here. So I'm gonna just do it on the bottom first. A valley mountain here. So I've got my edge here and I'm going to have it flush with my Brilliant Gems and about an inch and a half from the bottom of my gems. Now I'm going to add my adhesive to my top here and holding it down shut while I shut my card front. Go ahead and make sure you're getting a good bond there and open it up. And you can see we've created a nice little pop-up. From Gilded Grandeur, we're gonna cut out these three little cut-aparts and then adhere those down. Of course, this would also be a great place to personalize things. So if you wanted to add some photos here or some of your sentiments, that could also be really fun. Next, we're gonna take one of our signature pages and we're gonna do a little bit of cutting and dissecting this apart. So we are going to fussy cut out this beautiful oval princess. Using a three quarters of an inch circle punch, we are gonna cut out these circles these little gems. Of course, if you don't have that uh, circle punch, you can always just cut by hand, cut out this border, and this little piece with the knight's face. Add a foam adhesive to this border strip, and then this is just gonna pop up right in the center. On the back of our princess oval, I have added adhesive, foam adhesive to the top and bottom and some liquid to the center. And this is just gonna go towards the left-hand side. Adhere your circle gems. We're gonna grab one of our keyholes and this cute little knight that we cut out. And we're gonna add a little fun peekaboo, just a nice little Easter egg here. So now I'm just gonna trim out around here. And I just wanna make sure that you can't see this from my other side. Add some adhesive around my keyhole and then just fit him right in there. And some liquid to the bottom and then this is just gonna pop right towards the right hand side. Now let's doll this up with some of those matte pearl gems. So I'm just gonna take my scissors and cut right into my gold sections. I know that's what I'm gonna be decorating with. Now these do have some um, nice adhesive on the back. However, since we're gonna be getting a lot of people looking at these cards, we wanna use some adhesive of our own just to ensure that they'll stay in place. So I'm just adding my adhesive down first and then I will add my gems. So I'm gonna start at the top and bottom with my largest gems. And then I'm just gonna add some small little gems next to, next to it. So you can see where I have added all of my pearl gems and then on the inside I've even added another border from the signature page and three more large gems. Now that you finished card number one, here's how you can decorate up your envelope with those leftovers. Card two. Card two. We're gonna take another one of those card bases and we're gonna do another horizontal card. This is going to be uh, Exquisite Epic that's been cut to six and three quarters by four and three quarters. Add your adhesive and adhere that to the front center. From the leftovers, we cut out another piece that's six inches by three and a quarter and added our foam adhesive. And this is just gonna pop up right in the center. From that signature page, we're gonna cut out a thin strip of that red border, as well as this little fairy down here. And this gorgeous little decoration. Cut this border to fit add your foam adhesive to that strip. Of course, if you don't have any pieces that small, you can always take an X-Acto knife 
and your foam adhesive and just cut it to a smaller size. So what I did is I just took my X-Acto knife like this and just cut a strip to the size I needed and had it ready to go. Add a combination of foam adhesive and liquid adhesive and then adhere that down. Adhere the fairy. Grab this keyhole and add a combination of foam and liquid adhesive. And then we're gonna frame this cute little fairy right here. Step three, we've cut another piece of exquisite epic to be six by four inches and adhered inside the center of our card. From that same paper, we're gonna cut out a piece that is a six inches by two inches and then we're gonna score that at one and a quarter. At two and three quarters, and four and a quarter. So this time when we're adhering our pop-up, we want our red side to be facing out. And you can see that they are kind of going in a staircase. So I want my smallest piece to be um, on my red here and my larger piece to be on my card back there. So I'm gonna start with my smallest piece and here add some adhesive there. And it's gonna go in about the center of my card and about three quarters of an inch from the right hand side. And I'll add my adhesive to the largest area here and go ahead and shut that. And then open that up and make sure you clean up any excess adhesive. And then I've cut out these three cut aparts, these two from Gilded Grandeur and this one from Gallant Knight. Add some adhesive to our first little pop-up here, and this is going to be bigger than our stair, so that's why I added adhesive to the stair pop-up element and not to my back of my cut apart, and just go ahead and push down. Adhere down your other two cut aparts, and then I adhered this Ever After piece in a L shape, so if I want to use that as a gift card holder, I can just tuck that right in there and have my little gift. Now this looks great as is, but let's add some more uh, dimension and fun pieces. So you can see we've added some matte pearl gems on our front. And then on the inside, we've added some exquisite epic banners with some more gems in between. So cute. And a border from Gilded Grandeur, more of those banners from exquisite epic. So beautiful. Let us know, do you like it? all dolled up, or do you like it more on the simple side? And then with your leftovers, here's how Nancy dolled up that envelope. Card three. Card number three. We're gonna be doing a vertical card this time, and we have cut this medieval splendor to be four and three quarters by six and three quarters. Adhere this to the front center. From the signature page, Enchanted Forest, we've cut this to be a four by six and popped it up with some foam adhesive. Now we're gonna do some more fussy cutting. Of course, the fussy cutting isn't your thing. You can always use some of the borders that we're gonna be using and some of the circles as the easy elements and then just use a cut apart and simply just cut out one of these rectangles and pop it up um, and make your own design. But for those of you who love fussy cutting like we do here, we are gonna take out these two circle gems. We're gonna cut out these two border pieces. And then we're gonna really get in there, get intricate with this dragon and princess image and these three fairies. And while you get your fussy cutting scissors out, we're also gonna take out medieval splendor and we're gonna cut out this castle here from the left. From the top right, we're gonna cut out this I believe in fairies. We're gonna cut out this cute little image. And this is just gonna go behind this keyhole. So if you just wanna cut out a rectangle around that, that you can do as well and save yourself a bit of time. And then we're gonna cut out three of these shields. The first thing we wanna do is adhere this, I believe in fairies to the top right. Then we're gonna take one of our long border pieces and we're gonna overlap this over that, I believe in fairies and have about three rows of diamonds on the left-hand side and cut to fit this shorter border 
two at the bottom, and this we will showcase about four rows, three or four rows of diamonds on the bottom as well. Pop up these two images with foam. Add your three banners evenly spaced, and then add large black gems between. Add your fairy and your keyhole, and then some more gems. I know this adhesive will, ad will dry clear, but just be a little more careful with yours. From Medieval Splendor, we've got this piece to be four inches by six inches, and we're going to adhere this into the center of our card. And then this piece has been cut to one and a half inches by seven inches. And then we're folded it just like we did our first piece. So I've just folded it in half and then the sides in again. So I have four rectangles. I'm gonna add adhesive to one of those sides. And this is gonna go with my black side facing outward about a quarter of an inch from my medieval splendor in the, towards the center. Add my adhesive to the top layer. Go ahead and close that, creating your nice little pop-up. So when I opened that up, it wasn't going to lay flat. So we're trying this again. We're gonna move this over to the center or closer to the uh, center edge here. And I'm gonna be putting an image here anyway, so not to worry. And then we're going to add our adhesive there again and close this up. Now we have a nice pop-up and it's gonna lay, it's gonna lay flat when it's open. Cut out these two cut apart pieces and they are gonna go over those areas. So not to worry, we'll be covering up those little blemishes. Adhere those two cut aparts down and I'm gonna put this little gem in my bottom right corner. Then I'm gonna add our dragon and princess. So I wanna make sure this is gonna open and shut. So just making sure everything is going to clear and I know where to put my adhesive. So just gonna be adding it to our sections right here. And do a practice run. Perfect. And then we'll do the same here, just kind of placing it where we think we want it to go. Your adhesive. And then open and close, making sure that nothing is getting stuck on each other. And just add your little matte pearl gem. And we are good to go. So that's it for card three. And this is how Nancy's decorated that envelope with those extras. Additional cards. To create this card, you're gonna need your brilliant gems in the background. We've got exquisite epic popped up. And then this ever after cut apart from our gallant knights. We also have a border from gilded grandeur and some of our large black gems. And then this opens up to reveal some more of those fun cut aparts from Gallant Knight. And we've got the exquisite epic on the inside as well. This gorgeous knight in shining armor card features our dazzling damsel and our sumptuous florals, as well as those two cut apart papers, Gallant Knight and Gilded Grandeur. And then our last card also features those same four papers. We've got our Dazzling Damsel in the background, our Sumptuous Floral popped up with some more gorgeous cut aparts and gold gems. Inside we have another one of those horizontal pop-ups and some great fussy cutting. Thank you so much for joining us for this gorgeous card set. We hope you learned a lot of fun techniques and had a great time 
joining along. Be sure to share your projects with us on Instagram using that graphic 45 hashtag. And if you're looking for more great tutorials like this one, subscribe to our YouTube channel and then hit that notification bell so you know every time we upload a new video. Thanks so much for joining us and as always, happy paper crafting.